Back in 2018, I was scammed of 7.4 million naira in total. And my close friend was used for a ritual by scammers using these tactics mentioned in this video. Now, this led me over time to investigate thoroughly into cyber scams and threats ever since then and my career into cybersecurity as a whole. And I can proudly say that I have never been scammed since then, not to brag. But then I see so many people around me get scammed on a daily basis using some weak tactics. So I decided to make this tutorial to make sure everyone gets educated on the latest tactics and safety measures to stay safe in 2024 and beyond from fraudsters. Now this is, I have to make a disclaimer, this is going to be an intensive session. It is not for you if you cannot spare 48 minutes out of 24 hours in a day to watch a video that could get you safeguarded from scammers for the next few years it's okay your personal preference <laughs> you could stop at this point but if you desire to if you desire the opposite let's waste no more time and get right into the video and see you in the comment section as well All right, so today we're going to be talking first about clone fluencing. Now, when I mean clone fluencing, I mean it's a situation whereby a scammer imitates the original owner of a certain product or service. Now, this is what I mean. Now, let's use UBA, for example, for this tutorial. UBA has an official chat bot on their channel to help with to help with customer services. Yeah, this is the official page. I will show you how, later on in this video how you can know and how you can detect official pages of certain services without getting scammed by the fake pages. Okay, this is UBA chat banking now. This is the real official page. Now I will show you other the name of the chatbot is Leo, actually. You can even chat now. Let's text Leo. You'll we'll see how the official Leo looks like. And we'll, of course, we'll also text the scam Leos. The fake Leos. Yeah, get started. Yeah, you can see Leo has services here. You can check your balance too. If you want. You can get your statement. You can get your account number send money and other self-services if you go to the official chat bot from uba for those of you who don't know if you type in leo leo uba if you type in leo uba the whatsapp number you will have to go to the official once you see uba group.com you will have to go through there that is the official website for uba ubagroup.com you have to pass through there okay so leo from the official website has opened if you go through here if you scroll down if you go through here this is where you can find the official leo on facebook whatsapp instagram google business chat and apple messages service you must see it's verified here the business accounts so that is how you find the official pages as i this is their this is their facebook handle yeah that's their facebook handle so now let's see let's see the fake leos let's see the fake leos how to spot them leo uba let's spot them good now you see all these ones any business you have with them is at your own risk. These are scam pages. These are scam pages. You can see, let me try messaging one. Okay, yeah. I need to get. I need to get my bank statements. 
Let's see another fake Leo page. Yeah, all these ones are fake. All of them you see here. All of them. Leo UBA customer service, UBA Leo virtual bank financial assistance, and all of them you see here. All. I mean all of them. They are fake pages. This is how you detect them. And surprisingly, people still fall for this. I won't be surprised. Tell me down in the comments if you've ever had any experience of such. The next tactic, the next popular tactic, which is very, very still unknown to many, is the POS agent tactic. Yeah. So let me explain the concept behind this one. It's very easy. Now, here, scammers use scammers use a POS, like they disguise as POS agents, just to capture your sensitive details, in case you don't know. They can be fake POS agents, but you don't know. That's the thing. You see POS people everywhere, like, ah, come on, withdraw this, that, this, that. They can do a banner. They can set up everything. They are ready to spend the money because they know how much they can deduct from your account through there. Have you ever experienced a situation whereby you just withdrew from a POS agent and then you see debits on your account again? You still you think it's your bank, but it's not your bank. It's because they have had access to your details. Most times, they take note of sensitive information without your permission. They take notes so that's how this one works and it's very very dangerous because most times you don't see them when you're supposed to again and the transactions are untrackable all the transactions so all your crying if they debit you and everything will be in vain so that's how this one works in essence and towards the ending of this video, I'll show you guys on how, I'll show you guys a way you could be safeguarded from all these, how to detect fake POS agents and everything you need to know to secure yourself in this kind of era. So for now, we move on to the next tactic. All right. So the next tactic now is the government polls. Yeah, it's the government polls. This is where scammers use the frame profiles of government officials and government sites just to scam you, get your details and, you know, remove your money. That is always the aim. Mostly to get your details. And once they get your details, they will still remove the money. You understand? Okay, so let me show you what I mean here. This is Senator Dino, Dino Melaye, a popular political figure in Nigeria. Yeah, this is, a, this is official page with about 2.1 million followers and it's blue ticked. Respect to you, sir. Now, um, I'll show you people who do the government's polls tactic. Now, as you can see, there are duplicates of profiles here. There are duplicates. This is not him. This is not him. But this person, yeah, an account like this. This person might be using it for scam. You understand? They just, the tactic behind this is just them opening an account. Anyone can open a new account on FB. Then they fill in their description like this, like, they are political leaders. Then the next thing is to add people because since he's a popular figure, people would love to have such in their friends list. So everyone accepts the friend request. Then, of course, they bring out an offer. Maybe Senator, Senator Dino telling them to donate 50K for a campaign or something. Or, yeah, so that's how the thing works for the government polls. And this applies to 
thousands of politicians globally, both in the USA, both in Nigeria, popular political figures, yeah, government figures. So I'm just using this for an example, a quick example for this video. At the ending of this video, I'll also show you guys a detailed tutorial on how to find legitimate profiles of people you're looking for and services. Yeah, and how you can stay safe, like I said earlier. So that's it for government polls. This tactic particularly is called the counterfeit employment tactic. Now let's see. This tactic was used on a girl once, and it has been used severally on many people, actually. There was a girl, if you guys remembered, named Imi Umore. Yeah. This was the tactic Frank used on her. Now, this girl, convicted of... Okay, yeah. If you want to read the full story, I'll drop this link in the in the video description if you want to read it like reread mm -hmm. so in summary this guy by name Udwak Frank Appan was convicted for murdering the lady by the left miss late mrs Ini Iniobon Umore yeah she was a student of a graduate of philosophy from the University of Yoakwaibu State and the story ended very, very sadly. I think that was when. Let me check dates. This happened, yeah, around that kind of, that kind, August 7, 2022. Between that, between that, um, uh, I think July to August. Yeah, August 7. So this, if you want to read about this, the tactic he used eh, was he, he gave her, like, he put out a fake, like, counterfeit employment, um, this thing, tactic. He used that tactic and it worked for him. You see all those um, banners and these things you see around that they say, um, call 00, 070, blah, 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 and come and walk at this. The pay is this. You understand? That is mostly how the thing looks like. It's like on a paper form. I don't know if I can show you guys. All right. Yeah, but let me see how it goes. Like it. And if a similar experience has happened to you, please don't forget to drop it in the description as well. And like the video if you're enjoying how we're going. Now, um, for this lady, she saw that post, job description. This is being a student that she was a graduate, rather. Yeah, who a fresh graduate rather? Yeah, she was just coming out of the university, and she thought it was a legit job opportunity, but it ended very, very bad, very, very badly. You can go read the full story later on. You could learn a lot from there and avoid such for yourself or any of your family members. Yes, you can share this to any of your family members who you don't want such things to happen to. Yeah, share, share it to them so they learn. This was the tactic he used. The counterfeit employment tactic. Whenever you see a job vacancy opportunity, mainly on the paper, or sometimes they send guys to give it to you on the road. You understand? All those guys sharing paper. Yeah, they just give it to you to be distributed. Sometimes they tell ladies to give the guys. Why the guys should give the ladies? You understand? Or they just make it random. But mostly, they know that when guy, when girls give the guys, they will mostly turn up to the venue. You understand? And here was this. Here is the exact case where this guy, they are opposite genders. You understand? So definitely, she will be interested, and they knew. So this is how the tactic works, basically. I hope you've learned. Yeah. So on to the next tactic. So the next tactic we have here, it's. AI cloning and imitation. Let me show you something. There's this guy, this doctor called Aproko Doctor. Yeah, everyone should know him. He's a good doctor. Respect to him. I I really have, I really love his content too as well. Now, 
There was this fake video they did of him, an AI cloning. Let me show you. I think that was AI video, fake AI. Let me search. That should come out. The fake AI video. That should come out. Let's see. Videos. Okay, so this this is the fake video. I will, let me play a real video of him. Yeah, let me play a real video of him. This is how he does his content. I make a point. This particular video is for you. People like you that cannot see any drink that does push and close your eye, you must drink it. You see that sugar? You must drink it. Drink water and mind your business. Drink water and mind your what? Your business. Well, I hope you know that there's a particular woman in your body called testosterone. All right. Now let's see the clone of him. What AI did? Indeed, there is a cream that will completely get rid of joint pain. In this one video, of treatment, the person who did this AI video was arthritis, trying to promote disc herniation and other joint cream diseases. Service you can buy him. the cream online at half the pharmacy price. German scientists. You could see it's so real. And it's very dangerous because there are people that have fell for a cream that instantly this relieves type of pain scam. and inflammation and guarantees full recovery after the first. Yeah, so that's it. The post leads people to a page here. That's the, the video. Where on that page, Natera Markets Motion Energy Cream, the alleged cream which she claims cures bone ailments. And she asks people to fill in their names and phone numbers using Aproco Doctor's influence through a fake video to order the 28,000 naira cream. Let's open the page. I like exploring. Let's open the page, okay? Let's go. Follow the link. Now, this is her page she was promoting. Using that fake video of a, pro a proco doctor. Yeah, this is the page. You can see how it looks like. 28,000 error instead of this. To fill in, you have to impute your details. This is another form of scam I'll tell you guys about later on in this video. Which is very, very dangerous. From this page, I think it improves healings in the joints, any place you feel swelling and all those stuff. Yeah. If they tell me this page is fake, I'll, I'll believe. Yeah. It's very fake. And I'll tell you guys how this type of scam works later on in the video. So yeah, that's how this is. I'll put all necessary materials to all of these I've shown in the, in the video description. Or in the comments. If I don't, please remind me. Please. And yeah, I forgot to say, this doesn't only apply to, to people like a proper doctor. Like, even in, in, in the US, like, you have popular celebrities. Okay, let me show you Elon Musk's own. Elon Musk's um, fake AI video. AI is becoming smarter these days. I need to... Okay. Yeah, here's a deep fake of him going viral. Twitter uh, with a deep fake. We have this video right here also from uh, that one see. viral May last year. This is a deep fake uh, of Elon Musk promoting, well, another a crypto scam. So not the first nor the last time I fear that he will be going viral over a deep fake video. Mark? Catalina. Yes, so the AI, the AI space is going very very advanced and yeah it could even hit you too someone does a fake video of you and sends it to your family members or your friends close friends requesting money or stuff like that and there are people that fall for it don't underrate this tactic now there's a new open ai feature i want to show you guys open ai sora it's a video model from artificial intelligence to tell you that AI keeps improving every day. Let me show you what AI can do. OpenAI just released this feature. Now let me show you a sample of what AI did. And I'll show you the prompts too. Yeah, you can see. Let me increase the... Yeah. This is what AI did. 
You see, AI is continuously improving day by day. And if you don't know how to stay safe, I'm afraid you might get lost in the trend. Yeah, you'll get lost. I won't lie to you. So you can see this is beautiful by AI, done by AI. Let's see another one. Yes, AI did this too. And this is a feature coming very soon. You can see how clear it is. It's almost shot in like 4K. This is so clean and realistic. So that's just a sample to show you guys of like what's coming. Just a teaser to show you what's coming in the AI era. So on to the next one. The next popular tactic again that's very, very, very well used is application marketing. Now, let me show you how this works. The scammer goes ahead to create a fake Play Store or Apple Store application for the aim of duping you. You understand? Now, there's nothing like Bitcoin mining now, except you have the hardware drives and all those stuff. But let me show you an example. If you say Bitcoin mining, yeah, Bitcoin mining app. You see all these. Now let me show you. Something like this crypto cloud miner app. You can see from the reviews that this is a very, very bad app. Very, very bad. You can see. You can see it's a scam. I kept mining for this and I got the hundred balance. I couldn't withdraw all those stuff. Now see. This app was created for the aim of scamming. Nothing else. Yeah, scamming and details arbitrage, which I'll talk about later on in the video. Can I build an app without coding? Yes. You can build an app without coding with Kids Flow. It's not a sponsored ad, but yeah, you could do it. You can see. So with just little effort, they get apps like that, upload it here on Play Store, and scam you of your hard-earned money. And it's very easy to buy fake reviews on Play Store. I won't lie to you. It's very easy to buy fake reviews. That is what you guys don't know. Fake reviews, fake followers, fake likes, and fake stuff. Like, there's a whole lot of fake stuff on the internet right now. So you have to be very careful. All right, so the next tactic we have here is private contact arbitrage. Okay, so this is how it works. Basically, you here want to invest. You heard about, okay, your friends tell you that there's a scam site somewhere. Don't mind my drawing. It's a scam website somewhere. And then you go ahead. You go ahead. Since it's your friend that tells you, and you go to the website to invest your money. Yeah, you go there to invest your money. Thinking you may eventually get your money. You understand? Most of those platforms, the scam platforms, you will get your money eventually. You understand? But the main concept behind the 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 um, contact arbitrage, private contact arbitrage, is now after collecting your money, eventually the people behind this website, the people behind, don't don't mind my drawing. The people behind this website that you went to invest your money on. They shut down the platform. They shut down the platform. Yeah, and you go away. Thinking that is all. You've made some money and all that. Yeah. Thinking that's all. But then that's not where it ends. Because 
when these people have closed the website they now have your contact details yeah they have your contact details like the phone number the email and um, everything you use to register for the website do you understand they have those now they have kept it for future scam purposes you understand so when next they have another scam platform disguised as another they can easily use your email that email use your email here to contact you to come back to their new site and invest money again do you understand don't mind my bad drawing if you can if you can just grab the concept that is what i'm, I'm trying to do now when they tell you to come back where the arbitrage comes in is that these people reason it well these people the scammers They have other bad friends as well. Yeah, they have other bad friends who want to launch their own scam websites. Yeah. And they trade your contacts. Yeah. That's your contact. They trade contact details. They say take. They say take. Yeah. This person has invested before. Poor you has invested before on this website and we've had his contact details so yeah we're going to use it to scam him more this person buys your contact from the owner of the website you invested in before buys your contact and now he creates his own platform yeah creates his own platform or sometimes he uses it to just come you know they pass through your gmail and they send you a request like send me 50 dollars or i'll report you to stop i don't know you've you've seen those type of emails then you start receiving spam mails and spam text messages or your phone number you might be thinking yeah where did i drop my number and all those stuff or maybe it's just like um it's a random thing but no it's the website you invested in before that shut down and now they've traded your contact details in exchange for money and pvc yeah so that's how that one works so the next one we have is phishing marketing now this is the concept of phishing is very very simple if you just do a little research about phishing yeah okay phishing refers to an attempt to steal sensitive information in the form of usernames, passwords, credit card numbers, bank account information, or other important data in order to utilize or sell the stolen information. Now, if you take a quick look here, quick look here, you should see. For those of you clicking links on Facebook, you wonder how your Facebook easily gets your facebook account easily easily gets hacked well stop clicking links on facebook from unknown sources or untrusted sources i'll put the full guide to this in the description as well so you read about phishing attacks and how they work so or if you don't want to read this then you have to wait till the ending of the video i will show you how you can secure your your facebook account the best way so you'll be free from any attack any form of um, uh, um this thing phishing attack online on facebook twitter anywhere i'll show you so that's it for phishing is so the, for the next one we have investment platforms oh this one many people many people fall for this one no more now let me show you how this one works these scammers they create an investment platform to dupe you of your hard-earned money most times 
It could be products, it could be services. Yeah, you invest. As long as you invest, you understand. I'll show you an example here. Okay, so there's this one here I saw on Telegram. And um, a little announcement, guys. Go to the comment section right now. Eh? Any time you have doubts concerning a particular platform of its legitimacy, whether the platform is legitimate or not, do not hesitate to come to this video description and drop it. I will give you a fully detailed analysis of the website. I don't care if it's one or two days old. I will give you the full analysis and I will show you how you could do as well. So come to the description. Tell your experiences. If you have been scammed before, let people learn. You drop websites you're unsure of. So I do invest. I do my analysis on them and I will try my best to reply as soon as possible as soon as possible except i'm not with my phone so go to the comments right now right now like right now okay so back to business um don't forget to like the video as well Lou. don't forget that's the only thing you can do for me right now the one i just saw on telegram a quick one we could use for this let me see okay yeah this one is an investment platform, a typical example of a scam investment platform. Now, if you want to go and search them on Telegram, I'll drop all those two in the description. They'll tell you, click to log in via link one. Okay, via link one, let's, no problem. So I opened an account, a spare account for this because of you guys, you understand? The least package you can invest here right now, the least is two seven. I spent two seven here, and yes, I've withdrawn from them before. Yeah, you can see I've withdrawn, but the fact remains that if you don't spot them on time, you understand. Like now, they have they have they have closed for now, like officially. You could see I have forty two thousand in my balance, but I can't withdraw it. Let me show you. Okay, let's withdraw 42,000. Withdraw. They said, sorry, the maximum withdrawal amount is 810. Okay, now let's see. Let me withdraw 810. Sorry, the withdrawal amount is 1,000. You can see they are, they are even confused. Like, okay, let me pull 1,000 now. They are very confused. Sorry, the maximum. So that's how it keeps going. Your money is gone. Like, your money is gone. These are the products, you understand? These are the products. Anyone you want to invest in, you can click like this and invest. But your money, Utilo, is gone. So that is how it works. That is how it works, basically. There are a lot of scam platforms out there. Let me check if I can see any of them. I think one popular one was MyRise.net. Yeah, okay. No. Let me see. It's like they have closed their domain. MyRise.net was very popular if i put reviews you see yeah it was a very popular app me myself i got scammed from this you understand it's part of why i had to stand up and do research because i can't keep getting scammed every time so over two years and months of gathering data over two years yeah i worked on this site for six months but i couldn't receive like you work on a site a scam site morning evening for six months but you couldn't remove your money yeah that's what this site did and that was what led me to my first research into scams and cyber security so everyone has a story don't feel like no one is perfect no one is perfect i'm telling you no one is perfect it was in the process of discovering, of being scammed, I discovered how to do all these today. You understand? Persistency and consistency, very important. So this one, they have closed already. I would have used them as a quick example for you. They have closed ever since like, I think like three years now. So we move on to the next. If you have any scam platforms and products, you can drop them in the description. You can drop them so people will see learn and report very important you report them any scam sites you report very important 
Okay, so the next one is very simple. Fruitful tokenization. Next one is very simple. It's for people into crypto mostly. Yeah. This is how it works. There's you in crypto looking for where to invest your money as a beginner. Or most times as an expert person, you still get scammed. You understand? It just depends. There are, there, are, there, are, there are levels to scamming. OGs, big people like Elon Musk, they still get ripped off on their wallets if you check the news. Everyone gets scammed, but the difference now, what differentiates people who don't from people who do? It's your, your knowledge of safety and security. And of course, God's grace too. I'm not going to lie. Still need God's grace to stop encountering such sites. So, um, you invest your you you look you're looking for where to invest your money, right? Now these guys, the bad guys, they create a fake page. You can go to to invest your money, and they tell you maybe you get. Okay, let me clean this. They tell you maybe you get 700% ROI. Okay, don't mind me. I wrote that wrong. Let me see. Let me clean that. 700% ROI. In some months, or perhaps days, sometimes weeks, and you... Greedy you, wanting to invest. Greedy and gullible you. Yeah. Greedy, I'll call it greedy and gullible you. Invest your money into those sites. And then, boom, your money is gone. Like it's vanished. They dump the coin and they run away. They, 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 like they carry the liquidity, and you know you're left with nothing in your wallet. It's for this. Mo this mainly happens like for people in, into crypto, into cryptocurrency. You understand? I'm not saying crypto is bad, but you have to be educated. You understand? Any business at all you want to enter, you have to be educated. Know what you're doing. There are people who know more than you. If it's to pay to learn from them, or if it's to take out your time and learn now when they do it for you for free like this on YouTube please do, please learn so that's how that one works and that's it for fruitful tokenization so we have bogus car advertising, this one is very simple, the concept this is where scammers list big vehicles for sale, like big vehicles I'm telling you yeah, you can even see it on Facebook Marketplace. Most of them here are not real. You understand? They just list it. And when you contact them, you can see this one is 2 Naira. How is it 2 Naira? How is a car 2 Naira? It might be an error, but then you need to stay safe. You understand? Most products like this, I'm not saying this seller is a scam, but it happens. I'm not. It happens. You understand? I will show you guys how to detect real and fake products on any marketplace at all. But this is how it happens. You see it, you like it, you like the car, like for example this one. You scroll through, then you contact the seller, gullible you, and then you get scammed of your money. They'll tell you to pay half if you don't believe them, if you don't trust them. You will now go and pay half to the account, and then you you see white, you see a white profile, and you wonder how. Yeah. Your money is gone, actually. Your money is gone. So, that's the more reason you should wait to the end of this video where I'll guide you guys, give you a full guide on how you can identify all these, all the fake products and the real ones. Separate the goats from the sheep. Because these days, even scammers run ads. So, it's becoming harder and harder and harder for you to know real products these days product flipping product flipping product flipping is kind of related to the previous 
one we we talked about bogus car advertising yeah but this time it's beyond just cars we're talking of household items electronics and literally anything your kitchen wears in fact your school your school details you know students get scammed too i know about this because i finished from school too i'm a graduate so students get scammed a lot especially freshers they don't know they use these flipping tactics towards like mostly they they are on that on those new facebook groups looking for freshers of a particular university they know now, if they go to Facebook, they will see you, the fresher, gullible fresher, of course. <laughs> yeah, they will see you, who will do anything at that, at that rush hour to get admission and all those stuff. Yeah. So it's the same thing for the house products. They put up fake products on, on the marketplace. They, they, they do ads for fake products. And yeah, this doesn't mean everybody on the marketplace is fake. You understand? Like I, like I always say. But then, you need to have... You need to be educated at least to a certain level when it comes to security and self-consciousness. I'm telling you. You need to be educated. So, only... I can tell you, only like 5% of Nigerians know... What I'm teaching right now, only five, the top five percent. Everything I teach you here, I learned it from experience myself. But I don't charge any of you any kobo. You understand? They are from my experiences. Everything, everything in total here, I lost about five point five million naira for total. It everything here, and yeah, I had to go and do research because I found some some scammers too. I won't lie, found some scammers, some bad guys. And they also confirmed this. Yes, I met them. They confirmed this. No matter how the EFCC tries, there are some people you cannot catch. Let me not lie to you. There are some people you cannot catch because they are smarter. So, okay, let me let me finish up for, for this. I don't want to take much of you guys' time. So that's done for um, uh, product flipping. So on to the next, on to the next. Okay, 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 okay. Here we have we have FTI crack and vendor disguise. Yes, as the name implies, this is where a scammer uses the fake vendor tactic. I've seen ladies suffer a lot from from this. Yeah, they are mostly on IG. You understand? They know Instagram, IG, and they are on Facebook too. Yeah. yeah in fact, they are on most Twitter platforms. On most Twitter platforms. They are on Pinterest too. But mostly on IG, they pretend like they are vendors. They sell wigs, they sell clothes, they sell stuff. But you pay them. And boom, they make their page look real. You understand? That is not an issue. Fake followers can be bought, fake subscribers, fake some some might even hmm? they might even pose as legit vendors at the beginning. But knowing their end tactics, you understand? They might be giving you your wigs, you understand? You pay, they give you the wigs. It's just to build trust. But at a certain extent, what they truly want, they will do. And now that is where. You who comes late to the party gets scammed and ripped off your money. You know, that's how you patronize somebody for long. It has been your legit plug. Hmm? Now you trust the person. You trust the person now. You're sure the person can't do anything like that. Online, no. You understand? Like the person did online. But unfortunately, when you wake up one day, you, you hear your friends and people you referred there. Telling them they have been scammed, that the person is not responding or something. Or that is when you now pay for like wig. You don't see it for some days. You pay for clothes, pay for accessories, electronics. You don't see them for some days and you keep wondering what's happening. Well, 
your money has gone in case you don't know your money has gone that's how it works that's how it works so that's it for the 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 vendor disguise yeah fti crack is an abbreviation on the scammers end for facebook twitter ig crack crack yeah this is a tactic they use a software to hack into popular influencers and no matter how strong your account is you understand this this has to do with developing fti crack mostly facebook twitter ig yeah that's why it's called fti crack the hacking and of course they make sure you never get your accounts again you never it's gone you never get it again and what they use it for is to scam mostly your followers and people who trust you on social media okay let's imagine now for an, for a minute um dr um nonso which is um apropos doctor for example his accounts get hacked i'm not praying he should but i'm just using for this this is just for example purposes you understand yeah he has millions of followers who trust him millions now if nonso makes a post just a simple write-up say pay social amount to this just pay and you will have me coach you one-on-one -on -one or something or just an offer like that you will have many people paying to the accounts and he could use that account to, to text close apropos doctors friends most of his popular friends ask them for money some might be suspicious but then they can there's a way you clone bank accounts so i'll teach you guys that one perhaps if you remind me in the comments as well i'll i'll teach you there's a way you clone um or no i won't teach you like it's just like a tactic you understand i'll show you how it works that's how you clone bank accounts too as well it might not be the same bank or you understand where the person did like uba then apropos doctor's account number it might be fidelity bank but it bears his name do you understand so that way people are less suspicious and they use it to scam i'll show you examples of this later on but that's all for now okay 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 this is going to be shocking for most of you guys but then i have to say the truth the number one most surest scamming routes for big scammers is the friendship way yeah the friendship way your close friends people around you now let me show you how this works let me show you there's how you'll be on your own you're a loner you understand you're this kind of person that you don't want to mingle with people or, or something then there's this person from outside too who watches you very carefully unknowingly to you as you're living your life and knows you have money or you have influence or something then this person goes behind since he or she knows that you see him every day and um, most times both of you can relate the person finds a person who matches your energy you understand who could be very close to you and and eventually stand the test of time in winning your trust you understand and eventually two of you become friends unknowingly to you and you start feeling him or her thinking that ah the person is is for you no the person is not for you they are using him or her to get valid and secure info about you day by day today it might be your bvn tomorrow it might be your phone number then it might be your email it might be your confidential documents but they do it day by day and one day your cup will go full i don't go lie one day there'll be a day your accounts will just be wiped off all of them all your accounts will be wiped off and it will be too late because you can't even suspect the person near you that's the thing you would think ah maybe you clicked one link on facebook is a lie 
it's the person close to you. Yeah, they keep pretending until you catch them. Now, who then catch the criminal? Keep saying it. So, if you like, you can follow this advice. If you don't like, it's a bonus advice. Yeah, I got this from research. I spent months to do research for this video. Everything you're seeing here is based on personal experience and facts. Everything you see in this video. So, that is how that one works. Just a friendly advice. Hey, hey. <laughs> advise yourself in the comments, Omo. I don't have a word for this because this is so choking, bro. Okay, so for those of you who stayed till the end, I appreciate. I know you must have learned a lot. Please leave, leave a like on this video and share it to those who you trust and you care about. You don't want the accounts to get hacked or something, or you don't want them to get scammed. Share it to them. Now, leave a comment also in the description, in the comments, telling me your experience, what you've learned, and you know, you could just discuss in the comments, like share tips as well if you have suggestions other people could use as well, like you understand to safeguard themselves. But for the meantime, here's the next video, like I promised. That is going to teach you everything you need to know about safeguarding yourself in the online space.